What's up guys, on this little video, I'm going to start a series of music compo composition and video game music composing tutorials. And in this first video, we're going to talk about meter and music notation that will help you along your way to make better melodies and, uh, or start out if you're brand new to composing. If you're familiar with uh, music software such as LMS or Pretty Loop Studios, you you can take this information and apply it over there and it will work just great. I will be using MuseScore to teach you guys how to notate music and note and make your write down proper sheet music for your video game soundtracks. So let's get to it. So this little diagram here is essentially what we need to understand basic music notation and rhythm figures. We're going to start out by understanding how rhythmic figures work and essentially what they are is how long a note, a particular note lasts. So we got our whole note or our the one that looks like a circle, uh, an oval, and it it lasts for four beats, while ha while half note, which will be two half notes for each whole note, will last two beats. Four quarter notes, which equals a whole note, will last one beat and so on and so forth. What I mentioned earlier about meter is essentially to understand time signature. And time signature indicates the pulses or beats our whole bar or measure is gonna have. The, the fraction number, the upper number, tells us uh, how many beats per measure, while the lower uh, denominator tells us the type of note so in a common bar or a, or a 4 4 time we have there's gonna be four quarter notes so here I am in LMMS which is a free audio workstation and it's the easiest way to show you what I meant oh, let me close this real quick what I meant with so this is a, a half note and another half note. These are quarter notes and these are eighth notes. So again, this is a whole note, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Let's make a melody here real quick using simple figures. So here I am putting uh, quarter notes, shortening this to a to a half notes. So what I'm going to do now is open MuseScore really quick. I'm probably going to go through the interface on all of this in another video soon. So don't worry, I'll do that soon enough. But really quick, we're just going to import or open the MIDI we just exported from LMMS. 
and it's all gonna be there like that you got your quarter notes your eighth notes another very important um, aspect we need to know for compose before we get to composing uh, on music sheet is to understand key signature and essentially what it is is at the start of music musical system you will have something similar to this where you will see the sharps and flats of the tonality and the clef we're using for piano and all, a lot of instruments we're, we're gonna be using clef and what the clef does that's the symbol over there what the clef does is gives us the names of the lines and spaces of the pentagram and what it indicates it's right there where where the G clefs with treble clef starts it, that's G that's all it means it means that the second line from bottom to to up towards up it's it's the note G so if the treble clef indicates that second line from the bottom uh, from the bottom up is G that means the space above it is A and the space below it is is F 